Okay, I'm Andrew. I'm Cameron. And today we've got a beer from Clown Shoes Brewery. The Luchador and Fuego. Yeah, it's a, uh, a Mexican style imper is an imperial stout. Yep. Yeah, and it's uh, made with uh, additive spices, vanilla, and it's aged in bourbon barrels. So it's supposed to also have cool. ancho pepper, or ancho chilies and uh, chipotle pepper in it as well, so this should be a very interesting beer. Yeah, vanilla and smoke and chili and I mean... It should be a very complex Yeah, I'm beer excited. As well. Let's see what it looks like in the glass. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. They're just really, really dark. And then... Yeah, maybe um, a little brown at the edges, but very nice toasty caramely color head. Definitely looks really brown on the pour, but when it's all there in the glass, it's very black, just with the brown around the edges. Can't see anything through it. Um, yeah, khaki head, pretty dark. Head's dissipating fast. Big um, bubbles. Yeah, it's got some legs on it, you can see it kind of cling to the side of the glass. What's the ABV on this? 11%, 11 so, so it's a big old beer. Yeah. It's got a nose on this. Ooh. Yeah, I can smell spiciness right away. I'm not sure if I can say it's chili or if it's the spices they talk about, like in the uh, when they say on the label, like mm -hmm. they say spice, vanilla, and, and the bourbon characteristic is very strong as well. It's very cold. I'm I'm uncomfortable really, you know, drawing any conclusions right now, just because this has to be. I mean, I can smell so know, much still. Drunk warm. Very sweet. I'm getting lots of the vanilla. Mm -hmm. I think that's mainly the bourbon characters, even though they also add vanilla. <clears throat> not a lot of booze. Maybe it's just because of how cold it is, but I'm really oh, not getting sure. any alcohol. It's because of the coldness. It's going to be a really boozy smell in here. The chilies are kind of, maybe not necessarily like a dominant smell, but you can they definitely notice them your kind nose. of lingering in the background. I really hope it opens up a lot more. I'm going to try and just get my hands on it. Yeah. Yeah, even also, you know, some caramel, some toffee, like some maybe even darker fruits. It's very complex. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's get a taste. Cheers. Okay. Wow. Ooh, so much vanilla and that bourbon. That's great. And chocolate, mm. Oh yeah, definitely lots of bourbon all throughout, especially in the very, very end of the, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the aftertaste. Like I let it sit in my mouth for a while, and the first thing I noticed when I swallowed the beer was that I was getting a nice lingering kind of chili sensation, a smokiness probably from the chipotle, and it was uh, not what I expected. I thought I might get a little spice, a little burn, mm -mm. but this is really well integrated. Oh no, this is beautiful, and it's so smooth going over your tongue. It's ridiculous, and yeah. it just kind of sits and lingers on your taste buds. It definitely peaks in the middle of the mouth um, mm -hmm. when it starts off. It really works your way in with some of those sweeter vanilla notes, with a little chocolate, and then you really start to get, you know, the booze, and I think some of the more coffee type flavors. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste. I'm getting a lot of coffee right now. I think that's what the bitterness reminds me of the most. I get a little bit of caramel flavor too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, those uh, you know standard kind of stout characters are there and just really well complemented by those extra, you know, and it's vanilla really robust and chilies. Yeah, well, we absolutely have to let this warm up. I think it should probably be had warm, and it's nowhere near there, so. We'll sip on this, and we're back. Yes, with this wonderful clown shoes, Mexican-style stout. Lucha en Fuego. Yeah, exactly. Well, luchador. Luchador en Fuego. Yeah, it's got a picture of a Mexican wrestler on there. With four arms and four legs. Yeah, I like it. And many accoutrements. But it's a very tasty beer. It's got a really interesting light mouth feel. It kind of just slides down your throat. Yeah, now very deceptive. As it warms up, I'm getting a lot more of the barrel character. Not only uh, like the vanilla and this kind of sweet bourbon flavor, but also you know very like rich woodiness. And I think mm -hmm. the chilies are supporting that really nicely. They're coming together, and that you get almost like a smokiness out of the beer. You mm -hmm. might guess that this is a smoked beer. 
No, it's very tasty, yeah. though. Yeah, well, compared to, I mean, another, like, chili beer, I guess you call them, I've had is a, you know, a habanero IPA, and that just burned your mouth. I mean, it really, like... You I'm a huge an, fan of them, You actually. needed another drink with it, you know, to... No, really it's, cool it's just a very, very spicy beer. It's it's kind of a mind t- messer upper. Yeah, and this really doesn't go there. You get, uh, mm-hmm. I think, more of the effects from the peppers in terms of the spiciness. I don't think you're really tasting any of those vegetal kind of notes from the pepper itself, but you're definitely getting the smokiness, the spiciness, but it's blended really well, and it's not burning your yeah, mouth at n- all. Yeah, it's in no way dominant. No, and you might confuse some of it, you know, for the alcohol. There's a little alcohol warmth and the chili warmth that really just all blends really nicely together. Yeah, it's a great beer. Yeah. I'm a fan. I know I've had another stout by Clown Shoes. I'm not sure which one. I can't really remember, but I've been pretty impressed with everything I've had by them so far. So definitely going to have to keep an eye out for more beers by them. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get the final shot. Cheers. Okay. The most surprising thing is just how light it is. Yeah, I mean, it's almost deceptive. I mean, you, you're getting lots of those lighter flavors, you know, those spicy flavors, the vanilla, the sweetness, but beneath it, it's deep and dark and rich and thick. Really great. Well, until next time, drink fresh. Drink low. I'm a soul man.